has ripped the Silent Sam statue to the ground. The statue was torn down by a violent mob, and the police stood by and did nothing as that happened. All right, that's Tom Goolsby. He says that the law demands the nearly 105-year-old statue be put back up within 90 days. The bronze Confederate soldier was toppled during a rally in North Carolina last week. Well, skipping class, cop up the cash, and Oklahoma High School is about to start fining students. 250 bucks, Rob, 250 bucks for unexcused absences. And that's not all. They could even spend up to 15 days in jail for refusing to show up. Parents sounding off on the controversial classroom policy. Listen. There's no way that I can afford a $250 fine. There are people wanting to drop out of school because of this, because they, they know they can't pay these fines. Ooh. The school principal says the fines are in line with state laws meant to hold students accountable and will apply to kids who are late or missed class four times in four weeks. We asked if you think this will help or hurt students and your responses are a bit mixed on this. Unique on Instagram says, wonderful idea. Anthony tweets, this is a bad idea. We should be encouraging kids to want to come to school, not discouraging them. And Ed on Instagram says, time to find another school. You know how you can avoid it all? Go to class. Yeah. Uh, how am I going to get that money out of That's a money? lot of money, though. I would never pay that. I'd laugh in their face. I just would never skip class, so that's me. Oh, aren't you, you just such a it. good girl? All right. A major pizza chain is still apologizing and working to regain your trust. Tracy Carrasco from our sister network, Fox Business, here with more on how Papa John's is taking action to win you back this morning. Hey, Tracy. Yes, good morning, Papa John. Still apologizing, trying to distance itself from founder John Schnatter, of course, after he reportedly used a racial slur during a training exercise. So on Friday, Papa John's has launched a new ad, apologizing once again to customers, saying, you know, we expected better. Uh, we know you expected better, so did we. We, we are sorry. Uh, this is just one of many apologies that the company has issued following all of this uh, scandal that has surrounded John Schnatter, uh, CEO of the company, also saying that leadership there has received some training in a statement. Uh, he said recently the Papa John's leadership completed unconscious bias training. We will we'll be rolling out the program across the company. Leadership is also going to take a listening tour to franchises to kind of get some feedback there from uh, the owners to see what else they can do to make things right with customers all right well it is still summer especially here in new york city with this heat wave we're gonna have yeah. but it is fall at dunkin donuts it sure is if you check their their menus today uh, pumpkin flavored maple flavored everything will be back on the menu at dunkin donuts so they've got a few new fall additions uh one of them maple cream cheese spread also a new maple crisp donut with apple filling caramel icing and a sweet crispy oat topping that sounds pretty oh, good that sounds really good yes. i don't think it's ever too early it's to gonna have. be like 95 degrees this week and you can get a pumpkin latte there you that. go all right okay. thanks tracy we tracy, appreciate it thanks. thank you time now for the good the bad and the ugly first the good a daring rescue firefighters climbing on top of an suv to pull two people to safety while trapped in a flooded roadway you can see it here the washout in uh, tucson arizona pinning the car against a concrete pillar leaving it stuck and stranded luckily no one was injured next the bad pick up your plants at the station police officers or police offer uh, some hilarious advice to a pot grower uh, after taking 25 plants off of a patch of land in New Hampshire, the cops leaving this sign behind saying, sorry about your luck. Mm, that was nice of them. Finally, the ugly, don't drink and ride. Look at this, a man riding his horse. Oh my goodness, up to a California gas station learning the lesson the hard way. The man only known as Steve was reportedly drunk when he went to dismount there and his horse just started dragging him around. He was able to get back up eventually. Live and learn there. Do not ride drunk. I don't think horses need gas. No, but I think... Ugh. Unleaded? Diesel? I don't know. <laughs> All right, coming up at 5, Democrats taking their open border policy to a brand new level, saying that illegal entry should not be a criminal matter. And the Director of Policies of Immigration Studies, Jessica Vaughn, says the left is out of touch with Americans. She joins us live in the next hour of Fox and Friends First. You won't <laughs>